All right, taking a look at steps to make a solution. Once you've calculated the mass of solid that you need, uh, we'll weigh it out uh, on the balance in a clean and dry beaker. Um, big emphasis on both clean and dry. We don't want to add any water to the solid while we're taking the mass of it. When we've done the uh, correct amount of mass, what we'll do is we'll add some water to the beaker about half of the final volume. So I'm doing the example from the pre-lab here, um, which was with copper 2 sulfate, making it to a final volume of 50 milliliters. So I'll add about 25 milliliters to the, the beaker here. And what we're doing is we are dissolving. It's much easier to dissolve the solid in a beaker than it is to dissolve it in the volumetric flask. Using the stirring rod, I'm just going to stir, stir, stir until all my solid is dissolved. Once that's happened, I don't want to put the stirring rod down on the counter because it still has moles of solute on it and that would mean my final concentration wasn't what I wanted it to be. So instead, I will put the, um, the stirring rod into the graduated cylinder and I'll rinse it with a little bit of water there and let all the solution rinse off. Now that I've done that, I can put it down onto the um, onto the counter okay then I will transfer my solution in you may wish to use a funnel to make it a little bit easier uh, for you for the first few times and once you've transferred it in you want to give your beaker a nice quick rinse into the funnel and then give the funnel one last rinse to make sure that all of the solution has been transferred then what we're going to do um, is we're gonna make the solution up to the mark that's a pretty chemistry heavy term. All volumetric flasks have uh, one marking on them. So this is a 50 mil volumetric flask. It shows the 50 mil mark. That's the only marking on it. And we use volumetric flasks because they are way more precise uh, than a grad cylinder or a beaker. All I'm going to do is add some water until I get really, really close to the mark. Okay, now once I get within a few milliliters of the mark, what you may wish to do is add drop by drop the remaining uh, amount of water. It's really important that you get yourself at eye level with the mark so that you can read the meniscus properly and add very, very carefully. So this should be the person in your group with the steadiest hands and best vision. Remember when we read the meniscus, we read from the bottom and there we go. Okay, so my solution has been made up to the mark. The last thing I'm going to do um, to make sure that the number of moles of solute are spread evenly throughout uh, the solution is I'm going to put the cap on and then just invert it. We don't shake because that adds air and air bubbles. Okay, invert it just gently a couple of times. And there you go. My solution has been made from a solid.